low water pressure and flow. My name's Alan Hart. I have done quite a lot of videos in the past about low water pressure and I've, I've shown different solutions to, to low water pressure and how you can boost your water pressure. In today's video, I'm gonna try and do an overview of all the different videos that I've done and all the different options. And also I'm gonna give you the opportunity that somebody will be, somebody can win one of these home boost pumps. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. First of all, I'm gonna start with the very basic, the very basic things that could be wrong, and then we'll work all the way up. And if you've got any questions to do with low water pressure, please ask them in this video, and I'll try and answer as many of them questions as possible. But first of all, if you've got a localized problem, so say the rest of the taps in the house all work all okay, and it's just one tap, then what you can do, you can normally take these apart. We'll just unscrew that off the bottom of there. And if you can see in there, sometimes that, that gets all muck and grit in there. So it may just need this bit cleaning out, just washing out. If you can see it's just got little tiny holes in there. And there's a bit of grit in there. If you don't have a problem with an individual tap and it is the whole house, then it could be the stop tap. So that's another thing just to check before you start spending loads of money on products. So normally they'd be under sink. So if you find your stop tap, and this one's a little bit hard to see, but you need to make sure that this is fully open. So you turn it anti-clockwise for it to be fully open. Clockwise on this would close it. One thing just to point out, you can check the flow with a flow cup and you can buy them online. There's lots of places that sell them. So tool station, Amazon, screw fix. I've got no sponsors in this video, so I'm not sponsored at all. Salamander pumps haven't sponsored me either. Um, I'm gonna show you about different options. So there's, you know, it, I'll just try and give you the best advice I can in this video. Um, so that's, that's the flow cup. So you can test your water flow with that. So if we check the flow and the flow is very low, then I'm gonna go through the different options now, what we can do to update that and get that to be amazing. And there's all different solutions, so we'll have a look at them solutions now. If you've got a mains pressure system, there's lots of different options. And you can buy a Flowmate. And this is a Stuart Turner pump, or Stuart Turner Flowmate. And this has got a Stuart Turner pump on this one. And this, this is a 100, but there's all different sizes. So this one's quite big. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you a smaller one that you can install under under a kitchen worktop. And we've just got Nick here, who this is on one of the charity installs that we did. And we had to put a bigger booster pump in to boost the mains. Good afternoon, Gas Chat. Round nine of uh, Candlelight's Tour. Uh, gas Chat Tour. Right, this is Flow Mate. A lot of lads have been asking about it. So, a little Flow Mate 60. Um, Really poor incoming water pressure in mains. Uh, we've got probably standing about two bar, and you've probably only got about six litres a minute coming through. It's an old lead main, it can't be dug up. Uh, Lancaster's really bad for poor water pressure around here. So what you've got, accumulator and a little pump. So that deals with your volume problems, and then this deals with your pressure and obviously your flow rate. So at the minute, we've got the pump isolated and it's just on a bypass. So we're going to run it and show you what the main pressure is like and the flow rate is. So good old weir gauge. So we've probably got at best maybe 6 litres, possibly 7 at a push. Open another tap, not much difference. Probably about 7 litres combined. Not really ideal for a combi. So 
we're gonna close the bypass, open both the pumps. Now the pump's gonna kick in now because we've drawn pressure and volume out of the pipework. So what the pump's doing now is loading the vessel and loading the pipework in the building. So we'll just let it run. And as you can see, the PRV is wobbling because obviously we've got water pressure going in, uh, water flowing through it to load the uh, accumulator. So we'll open the taps now. So pump stopped, so the accumulator's full. That's the difference. So we'll try not to get you wet. I can't even hold the flow cup, so we're getting what? 14, 12, 14 litres a minute now. We'll open the hot as well, so we've got both outlets pulling. So it's turned a really poor main into a really good flow and pressure. We've probably got about two bar at this tap now. So, and now the pump's running on, recharging the accumulator and the pipework in the building. Thank you very much to Nick for that. Um, Nick is an amazing guy. He actually donated that job to to candle lighters. So we did gas chat tour and and all the money from that job was donated to charity and Nick was the guy who donated the job. So an amazing, amazing guy. Um, back to the um, the boost, the flow mate. The, they come in all different sizes. So it would depend on what you need. So for instance, if you've got a one bedroom back to back with one bathroom, a little small one like we installed in that property would probably be perfect for you. If you had a five bedroom mansion with four bathrooms and you needed two or three people to run them at the same time, then there's other solutions for that. And we'll come on to that shortly because I've got another, a bigger solution. But first of all, I'm going to show you a video from Salamander Pumps. And don't forget, we're going to have the opportunity at the end of the video to win this Salamander Home Boost. So I've got Matt here now, and he's going to show you how this rig works. So I'm going to pass you over to Matt. Thanks for inviting me down today, Alan. Uh, I brought my rig along and I want to show you how the Salamander Home Boost Pump works. With this rig, I can simulate approximately five litres a minute, which apparently is what you're getting in your customer's property at the moment. So let's turn it on. Um, let's get it up to about five litres, which is what we're currently getting at the moment. This is the Salamander Home Boost Pump. Fits onto your cold water main and will pump up to 12 litres a minute, enabling anybody to have anything up to a 30 kilowatt combi. It's not activated at the moment, we're just simulating the five litres a minute can see. Once I activate the pump, put the power onto it, the pump goes into, starts activating and as you can see it's climbing and will achieve 12 litres a minute. You can see that on the gauge at the moment. If naturally the Water pressure or flow rate goes above 12 litres a minute. The pump goes into idle mode and complies with the RAS regulations of maximum 12 litres a minute. So this is the solution for low water pressure? Absolutely, yeah. The, the Salamander Home Boost will boost up to and including 12 litres per minute and it will give you 1.5 bar of pressure. So that's great for anything up to and including a 30 kilowatt combi. So is this just for combi boilers? No, not at all. It's great for combination boilers, but it's also suitable for multi-point water heaters, instantaneous electric water heaters, instantaneous electric showers. And how easy is it to install? Very straightforward to install. It just fits onto the uh, cold water main, ideally within two meters of the stop tap. It even comes with a, a pre-fixed three pin plug. And how noisy is it? Well, you heard yourself uh, on the video, the noise wasn't really the pump, it was the actual flow from the tap that was making most of the noise. It's 46 decibels, has a Q mark, uh, which means it's the quietest in its group. And how long's the warranty on it? It's a three year warranty on the home boost. Uh, in fact, 
All our plastic pumps now come with a three-year warranty. We changed that in January this year, 2019. Uh, our brass pump has a five-year warranty. Every pump's tested before it leaves the factory. So just to recap on that, the home boost is the sort of like the easiest solution. So if you've got say seven or eight or nine litres a minute coming in, then this will pump up to 12 litres a minute. We're only allowed to pump up to 12 litres a minute. If it's above 12 litres a minute, that's then we, when we have to go to an accumulator and some of them accumulators will then have a pump on them like the one that was in the cupboard. So as I say, that's a small one in the cupboard. There's also bigger accumulators as well. Also, we can update the mains. So what I'm going to do now, I'll show you um, a property where we updated the mains supply. I have done a full video on installing a water main and that's the the image there so it's um, updating the water main mull your hole and what they do what the lads do they come along they've got a machine and they mull across and they put your new water main in on this job it was going into the property just there but also there needed to be a water main at the back of the property. So they, they stirred it to where we wanted it there. And then what they did, they also stirred it to where we wanted it at the back of the property. You just see all this ground cracking now. And that's the, that's the mole coming through. And this has like a water jet on this and it cuts as you go. So that spins as it's going round. All they do then is they connect the water main onto it and then they will drag it back through. So it's, it's very, very good what they do and it cuts down on damage to the, to the driveway. And it just makes it a quicker, a quicker job with less mess as well. So that's one option. So you could update your water main. But now what we'll do, we'll have a look at another accumulator. Also, if you wanted to watch this full video, then I'll add a link below. And you can watch this full video on installing this water main. This is a very large property with a number of bathrooms. And if we have a look at the floor rate here, we can see we've got about six, seven, maybe eight litres a minute maximum. And when when they had a when they had a shower, if we run the shower, we can see it looks okay. It's not very good. And this is before, but then when you turn a tap on, it almost stops. The system has now been updated and it's had a salamander pumps AccuBoost 450 litre pumped accumulator installed and this will give up to 36 litres per minute. So if you've got a large property, you've got a number of bathrooms, then this could be the perfect solution. I will add a link below to the full video that we did. Of this one these taps do have restrictors in but as you can see there we've got about 15 or 16 liters a minute at this tap now the difference on that system was it was just night and day to be honest um, it went from one tap working at seven eight liters a minute and then if you turned another tap on one of them stopped or if you had the shower on and washer started to work then the shower just went off and it went from that to you could have actually you could have three and four showers on at the same time and there was all an okay flow with them all on it, it would just it were an amazing amazing difference so there's there's normally always a solution to whatever problems that you've got if you if you've got any questions please ask them in the comments below and 
Now, if you want to win this, what do we do? How do we win it? Very, very easy. All you need to do is like this video. And also we need to share this video. So if you can share it onto Facebook or Twitter or anywhere, share it. And also what you need to do then is add a link in the comments below to where you've shared the video. And then what I'll do, I will randomly just pick somebody from the list, but I will check to make sure that you have liked it, you have shared it, and you have added a link in the comments below. So just to recap on that, that's as home boost. So that's a salamander pumps, and that's the home boost. And we've done checking your stop tap, checking your taps in your house. We've done accumulators, different size accumulators for different size properties and different needs. Um, yeah, I think we've covered quite a lot. Brake tanks as well. There's also, you could use brake tanks if, if need be. And that's another solution as well to increase your water pressure and flow. So there's, as I say, there's all different, there's different options and different solutions. If you've got any questions, please ask them below. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add a, a few pictures from um, subscribers and people that sent me pictures in. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at these. The collar on the boiler flue is split. If you tested this with the analyzer, it definitely failed. And if we have a look at this one, this is probably down to lack of servicing. So it just goes to show that you need to have your boiler serviced. I know I keep saying that, but very important. This one's Spaghetti Junction. Lovely pipe work. This one is a Valent Combi Boiler. And the seal has failed on it. And it's melted all the inside of the boiler. All the fan is melted as well. This one looks like the flue seal has failed you see there you can see all the marks on it fairly common on some boilers this is a cementer heat exchanger nick has kindly cut this up for us so you find these in your baxi boilers ideal vogues valence lots and lots of brands have this similar boiler it looks like it's blocked up if you can see all the what looks like sludge in the coils this one just looks like a Baxi Platinum or a Baxi Duotech and it's been installed with speed, uh, well, plastic pipe. I think that's Osma Gold actually. That's that's old, old style pipe, plastic pipe. This one, somebody's removed a boiler and when they've removed the boiler, the last installer hadn't bricked up behind it. Which is quite awkward because then you've got to go start getting bricks, sand and cement, etc. Just been called out to a gas leak. It's a soldered joint. Just must have cracked. Scale inside a hot water cylinder. A big shout out to David White, who is a subscriber. Came out to meet us the other day. Really good guy. Thanks for thanks for coming to meet us. This one, the condensate pipe hasn't been connected, so it's corroding and damaging all the brickwork. This one is when you don't support the flue correctly, and you need to put a little marker pen label on it. Do not knock this flue. Some shocking stuff there. Um, for anybody who is still at the end of this video. Don't forget, like, share, add a link in the comments below. Also, please add some comments to do with the pictures that we've just seen. Um, that would be great. And thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who helps and supports with this channel. And also that helps and supports in the training group that we run as well. Thank you very much.
again now, just gets fed in the machine.